art, something every game needs. But it just so happens that I am an indie game developer who sucks at art. So let's take a look at how I create pixel art for my game. It's a long and painful process, but at the end of it I came out with something that I'm quite proud of. Today I need to paint a deer, and painting an animal for a non-artist is a recipe for disaster. There's some exciting stuff coming with that deer in the future, but I can't talk much about it yet, so be sure to subscribe. I started by drawing a simple shape of his lower body. I've had a lot of reference art on my second monitor, so I tried to go off of that. You can see me going back and forth with it. As I said, I'm not a great artist, so in order to create something that I'm going to be proud of, I need to try a lot of stuff and just see what works and doesn't. That can take a lot of time, so it's important for me to put something down quick and decide whether I like it or not fast. I wasn't very satisfied with what I drew so far, so I tried starting over, but that went horrible, so I just came back and tried to refine what I already had. The next big struggle was the head, but thankfully at some point I decided to give the thing its antlers, and it made such a big difference. Ok, I had a decent silhouette, so it's time to move on to texturing and shading, and that's when stuff started to go horrible. I made the poor thing look like a coyote. For real though, I was starting to feel better and better about the piece, and decided to give it an outline, and what a difference it made. At this moment, everything started clicking together, the texture started looking more and more like fur, the shape of it started looking strong and majestic just the way I wanted it to, the only thing left to work on was the antlers, but I actually liked them, so I just cleaned them up a little, added some finishing touches, and there it is, a deer. I actually like how it turned out, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. And if you want to start making your own games, go check out my previous video or go to the first link in the description to get my 100% free beginner game development course.